Hi guys, it's me, Miss Bethany, back with another story time. And Dixie's here too because she just can't settle herself. All right, come on, lay down. Oh, or just stand there. Okay. All right, so I have two stories for us today. I have the sky is falling. And I have the underpants zoo. Can I help you? Dixie, this is hard enough. Why don't you be right here? All right, come on. Come on. Babe, can you call Dixie, please? You need to come here and look at this. So let's start off with the sky is falling. One day, an acorn hit Chicken Little on the head. She popped up, screeched, The sky is falling! The sky is falling! I don't think so, said Squirrel. Squirrel knew a thing or two about acorns. See, it fell from a tree. But Chicken Little was not listening. The sky is falling! The sky is falling! Soon, all the chickens were in a tizzy. Chickens are like that. The sky is falling! The sky is falling! They cried. They danced around the yard, flapping their wings. What's going on? asked a rabbit. Chicken Little says the sky is falling! The chicken shouted. Boy, is that dumb, said Rabbit. Of course, said Squirrel. The sky is falling! The sky is falling! The chickens breakdanced. They did the pogo and the splits. What's up? asked Cat, curious as always. Chicken Little thinks that the sky is falling, said Rabbit. Squirrel explained about the acorn. You must be kidding, said Cat. The sky is falling! The sky is falling! squawked the chickens. They did the moonwalk, the mambo, and the twist. The chickens look like they are having fun, said Squirrel. You know, said Rabbit. I was thinking the same thing. Should we try it? asked Cat. Soon they were all dancing around the barnyard. They did the rumba, the waltz, and the hokey pokey. The other farm animals joined in. They formed a conga line. They shouted, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. Fox watched all of it from behind an apple tree. He was the cleverest of the animals and had never been fooled. Look at those dodos, he thought. Hey, what are you doing? He hollered. The sky is falling! The sky is falling! They shouted. Good girl. These loons would believe anything, thought Fox. His scheme was working. If the sky is falling, why are you dancing? Why not, they cried. Because you should be hiding, that's why, said Fox. They ignored him and kept dancing. Thinking about dinner, Fox said, You know the perfect place to hide? My den. But why aren't you dancing, asked Chicken Little. Fox began to feel annoyed because it makes no sense. Everyone dances when the sky is falling, Chicken Little explained. Look, Fox watched the other animals. He can't dance, clucked the other chickens. Of course I can, Fox said. Watch this. He danced around the apple tree. He did the limbo, the lindy, and the lambada. He danced until he forgot why he was dancing. Then an apple fell and bonked him on the head. Chicken Little
Poodle began pecking in the yard. The other chickens joined her. The pigs and ducks and goats wandered back to the barn. Cat and Rabbit dragged Fox back to his den. This is one dumb fox, said Cat. I'll say, said Rabbit. But that is one smart bird, said Squirrel, chewing her acorn thoughtfully. Even if the sky isn't falling. The end. So that was the end of our first story. Our second story is called The Underpants Zoo. There's a new zoo in town, and here's what I've heard. The Underpants Zoo is completely absurd. Come in and find out why there's been such a fuss. It's a zoo where the animals wear underpants, just like us. It's important for lions to appear royal and grand. Camel says, mine keep getting filled up with sand. Zebras have stripes, but they like stars the best. Leopard prefers spots, as you may have guessed. Hippos have hearts because she's such a romantic. Elephant size is extra jumbo gigantic. Kangaroos boxers need plenty of bounce. For the sleepy sloths, it's comfort that counts. The snakes are good friends, so they share the same pair. Make fun of crocodile style, if you dare. Octopus can wear four pairs at a time. Dolphins in long johns? It boggles the mind. The penguins chill their underpants in the freezer. The monkey's wild trunks are always a crowd pleaser. It may look as though Anteater is doing some silly dance, but look closely and you'll see his underpants have got ants. The underpant zoo, I am sorry to say, is closing its gates for the rest of the day. But we'll visit again. We'll drop by very soon. Next time we'll stay for the whole afternoon. The end. So that was the end of our second story. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Get out and get on your bikes. Go on your trampolines. Do some chores around the house. Open the windows. Get some fresh air. And as always, you guys are kind. You are important, and you are very, very loved. And Dixie loves you too. Bye, guys.